So welcome to another video today. I'm actually going to make a short video today, or at least I'm trying to keep it short. Uh, today I'm actually going to go over how to install Windows 7 without the disk, because the main reason I'm, this video might be important to you or very useful to you is because you might have a dying hard drive, or even a dead one, as a matter of fact. Because mo most pre-built computers, when I mean pre-built, I mean computers like from Dell, HP, Acer, and Gateway. Computers that come with Windows 7 don't come with the recovery disk anymore. It's not like the XP days anymore. When XP was around, they would include. They'll be, they were very generous of including the XP disk. Nowadays, you get. You're lucky if you get your Windows 7 product key sticker to be laminated. Actually, mine is laminated, so that's pretty good. I'm pretty excited about that. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. So yeah, they don't come with the recovery disk. And from my perspective, most clients don't even bother creating a recovery disk, even though most of them come with the one-click backup recovery program to create the recovery disk, like I'm about to demonstrate right now. So I have a Lenovo Z480, and this comes with a physical, an actual physical button right next to the power button to allow you to create the recovery disk. I'm going to go ahead and launch it right now. Obviously, I did because I'm a computer technician, so you know, I know my heartaches of a dying hard drive. So here, system backup, system recovery, and create a recovery disk. I would do anything for my clients to start doing the, to create the recovery disk on it, let alone system backup, you know. So there it is. So if you're lucky, if you're if you're actually lucky, the manufacturer uh, I've seen this on HP and I think on Acer on some Acer's. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that, but on HP specifically, they actually include a recovery preloadable. By having it on a separate partition on the hard drive. So allowing you to boot through it by pressing F9 or F12. I'm not sure. And giving you the ability to swipe. And returning to factory settings. Allowing you to, to bring it back to factory settings as the day you bought it. But nowadays computers sometimes they become so infected. Or sometimes even corrupted. They... I am not able to get to them. It has, has happened on a couple of occasions. So, so we have basically a useless hard drive with no ability to restore it. So lucky for us, PC World has put together this article, a nice detailed tutorial if you want to go ahead and read on it in more detail than what I'm going over. So they have provided downloadable OEM versions of Windows 7. Of a uh, home premium, professional, and ultimate, both versions, 32-bit and 64-bit. I mean, I haven't seen 32-bit in a while. I mean, almost every single computer that I come across is now 64-bit. It's kind of rare to find a 32-bit Windows 7 now, at least from from a computer technician kind of deal. So I don't know. Um, you might have a Windows or a netbook or something like that that might be running a 32-bit, but uh, I haven't seen it in a while. Uh, and the reason I'm talking about this article is because uh, PC World is actually a legit, sir, legit, credible source. It's a big website, you know, does a lot of how-tos and reviews, and uh, does a lot of news of, on computer stuff. And that's why I bring it up. That's why I bring it up because the other sources are either from Torrents, like Pirate Bay, or some weird knockoff, I don't know, website that might not be as legit or as credible or, or as trustworthy. The only thing I haven't found is XP or Vista OME versions. They are, you can download them through Torrents through Pirate Bay, but again, I wouldn't touch them because, you know, they might be changed in some, some way and it's going to render them useless after a while because, you know, you're going to get, you're gonna get caught and it's going to get deactivated again. So you're in the same spot. So that's why I, I trust this article, this PC World article. I've been using this uh, article for. I've been using their um, OME versions of Windows 7 like on three or four or five desktops. Um, they haven't deactivated the work flawlessly. So what you need, the only thing you need is uh, either you can do it through DVDs or you can do it through a flash drive, which I'll get to into a second. So where was I? Oh, yes. And step three, you can go ahead and download the Windows 7 USB DVD download tool. Uh, it's a very convenient way of uh, installing Windows 7 on a USB flash drive you know so this thing will actually go ahead and create a bootable flash drive and all you need is your product key usually it comes on the side of the computer if you're lucky you know it'll be a nice product key that's laminated and has not worn off you know <laughs> if it has worn off and you can't read the 
the Windows 7 key, you can go ahead and try Magic Jelly Bee Key Finder. So this will actually go ahead. But the only problem with this is that you had to go ahead and done it ahead of time when the hard drive was operational. If it's not, you're kind of in a screwed boat, <laughs> honestly. So there are other ways and techniques of doing that. I mean, there's a whole other way of actually getting the key off the manufacturer or embedding the key in the manufacturer because apparently they use... For like for example, HP will use one single license for all their computers. So there's a way of doing that. I ha I haven't done it because, lucky for me, all my all the all my clients have readable Windows 7 keys pro product keys on the side of their computer. So I'm fairly lucky on that. So yeah. So after you have your product key, you can just go ahead and boot through this flash drive, and just simply let it do its thing. And when it comes and it prompts for the product, you just type it in, and then it'll be reactivated. And that's basically it. So hopefully you found this video useful. Uh, this is probably going to help you guys out because it's very useful. Like I said, 99.99% .99 of my clients don't do backup recovery disk or your family member that's asking you for help has not done a recovery disk. And you know, they just don't do recovery disk. So that's, yeah. So that's basically it. Hopefully you found this video useful and uh, show some support for this video. I could use some support as well. So thanks for watching and take it easy.